are a symbol not only to you but to the entire world of your enduring love and commitment to each other. May the vows and pledges you have made to each other remain as valued and pure as the precious metals from which these rings have been made. Bye. Anthony, as you now place the ring on Christine's finger, please repeat after me. Christine, you are my life. <laughs> That's my ring. <laughs> He's just thinking two is better than one. Wrong finger. You guys say wrong ring. Okay. <laughs> Anthony, please repeat after me. Christine, you are my life. Christine, you are my life. My love and my best friend. My love and my best friend. With this ring. I give you my promise from this day forward you shall not walk alone my arms are your shelter my heart is your home you will wear this ring always as a reminder of my love and commitment to you <laughs> Christine, as you now place the ring on Anthony's finger, please repeat after me. Anthony, you are my life. Anthony, you are my life. My love and my best friend. My love and my best friend. With this, ring, With this ring, I give you my promise. I give you my promise. From this day forward, from this day forward, you shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. My arms are your shelter. My arms are your shelter. My heart is your home. My heart is your home. You will wear this ring always. You will wear this ring always. As a reminder of my love. As a reminder of our love. And commitment to you. And my commitment to you. We have witnessed before the gathering and uniting light of very much in love. May the two of you now very fulfill this covenant which you have made. May you easily give and take from each other, encouraging each other in whatever tasks lie ahead, having grown to trust yourself and to trust the other. May you be open to trust and to welcome all the beauty and wonder your marriage and life will hold. Bye. Anthony and Christine, Bye. in this marriage I ask that you might comfort each other, provide a safe place for each other away from the trials of the world. Your marriage can be a place where a sense of peace, harmony, and warmth of spirit can be generated. Gently embrace each other's spirit form your partner both physically and emotionally. Be a friend to each other. The desire for true companionship can help you weather many of life's storms. Be open with each other. When you openly reveal your innermost secrets, desires, and fears with the person that you love, suspicions and doubts cannot cloud your relationship. <coughs> Listen to each other. Hear not only the words, but the tone, the mood, and the expression, so that misunderstandings do not occur. Ever. Respect each other's individuality. Everyone has a right to their own choices and mistakes. <laughs> Express approval and gratitude. Compliments encourage confidence and to know that we are appreciated, not only for what we do, but for who we are, allows each person to grow into the best of what they might become. Cherish your union. Let no one come between the two of you and the life you are creating together. Love one another. From the deepest corners of your heart, always remember the warmth and devotion of your togetherness. It was once said, happiness sneaks in through a door. You didn't know you left open. Perhaps this is the way love arrived. It happened when you didn't realize. 
you left your heart wide open. The supreme happiness of life is the conviction that we are loved. Anthony and Christine, you have found love in each other, and today you have made promises and spoken words of commitment. You understand that to love a person is to learn the song that is in their heart and to sing it to them if they should have forgotten. As you start your life together, those of us gathered here wish for you a love that makes both of you better people, the kind of love that will continue to give you a joy and a passion for living and provide you with the energy and courage to face the responsibilities of your new life together. A marriage blossoms in the achievement of common goals, the desire to provide a home for family, the sharing and growing together of individuals who are building a union that is nurturing and loving. The relationship flourishes when there is room to grow, where flexibility, patience, and a sense of humor can be easily cultivated. We wish for your home not just a place of stucco and wood, but an island of sanity and serenity and a frenzied world, a place where you can truly be yourselves and openly share and express all of your hopes, dreams, struggles, and successes. We hope that this home is not just a place of private joy and retreat, but rather one that serves as a temple where in the values of your lives, are generated and upheld. A place where family and friends will feel welcome and uplifted. We hope that this home stands as a symbol of individuals living together, devoted to a marriage and a life filled with love and peace. We ask this day to be a celebration, not only for them, but for all of us. Allow us to be inspired by the example of their love, enlarged by their joy and delighted by the happiness they have brought into our midst. We give thanks for this beautiful day, for this special occasion, and for the love which is the bond that binds Anthony and Christine to each other and to all of us. At this time, the bride and groom would like me to thank family and friends, many who have traveled great distances to share in this special event. For all those who are not among us, their love and blessings most assuredly rest upon the bride and groom and the new life they are creating together as husband and wife. May all the memories of this special occasion be pressed into the hearts, minds, and souls of all present. Get those cameras ready. <laughs> Christine and Anthony, together in this marriage, you shall contribute more fully, for you shall be more fully complete. And now, by the authority vested in me by the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife.